Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. In today's video, I am here to share that I have already changed my mind about certain curriculum that I was planning on using for the 2024-2025 homeschool year. So I thought that I would update you on the changes I'm already making before we've even started. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 12 and 15. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So changing things up already. I'm already changed my mind about how I want to do my seventh graders language arts next year. Now, if you watch that video, I already kind of like spoke about how I'm using the Good and the Beautiful level six for her main piece of language arts, but then I was kind of gonna add in Spelling Plus. Here's a picture of that book. So we have used Spelling Plus in the past and we primarily use Spelling Plus for like word lists, not necessarily as like a program for spelling. And then I also talked about how I was going to add in a writing curriculum. And the one that I originally chose was Jump In by Sharon Watson. Now this was really appealing to me, this program, because it was short, straight to the point lessons. They were supposed to only last about five to 20 minutes. Um, it said that there was a lot of wiggle room to where you could complete this course anywhere, you know, anywhere from like one to three years. So you could really take your time on it. And it was geared specifically to middle schoolers. Now, when I got um, Jump In in the mail, it was a little bit different than what I thought it was going to be. And I realized really quickly that this was not going to be a good fit for Lydia. When I actually got it in my hand and I was able to see the formatting, um, the way that it was laid out. And I can already tell you for me as a homeschool mom and the way I like to teach, that program wasn't exactly laid out um, in my favorite way. So I knew that that was going to be an issue with jump in for me, but I was willing to look past that if Lydia wanted to use the program and that she was going to enjoy it. So when I showed Lydia jump in, she had zero interest. She did not like that it was telling her what to write. She wanted options. So I actually changed my mind on the writing program and the spelling program that we are going to be using with her. So scratch both of those. <laughs> We are no longer going to be using Jump In or Spelling Plus. And I do want to say that does not mean that this, um, you know, writing curriculum and this, you know, spelling program is bad. It just means that I found something that I think will work better for Lydia next year. And actually, I'm not even the one that found it. Um, somebody actually commented on one of my videos um, about layers of learning. I believe it was learning, planting, growing learning, planting, growing. I'm sorry I don't know your first name, but thank you so much for having me go look into layers of learning because that is where I found a program for writing that I think will work extremely well for Lydia. So after I found out about layers of learning, which is like a unit study style pick and choose curriculum, um, I knew once I seen that they had a writer's workshop, this writer's workshop was going to fit so much better. Um, with me as a homeschooling mom and the teacher and for Lydia because it gives so many more options. Now I do still plan on using the Good and the Beautiful as her main spine. So if you're unaware, the Good and the Beautiful does cover literature, grammar and usage, punctuation, art, geography, spelling, vocabulary, and writing. So when she is doing the Good and the Beautiful, Lydia is not going to complete the writing or the spelling dictation in the Good and the Beautiful. She's just going to skip over that, but she's going to do everything else. She does like the literature, the art. She likes the vocabulary. She likes the um, geography in here. So we're going to continue to use this as her primary language arts, but we decided to use layers of learning word work for spelling. Now here's a quick peek at it. Now with this spelling program, it covers spelling words, word roots, and big words. But for next year, we are only going to be covering the spelling words. So this comes with eight different levels of spelling words and each level has enough for 36 weeks. Again, Lydia really likes the word lists um, when it comes to spelling. So that's 
primarily why I went with this one. But what I liked about this is that the word work also comes with a printable pack and the printable pack has a whole bunch of different printables and ideas about how to you know make spelling a little bit more fun with activities just a ton of different printables that you could uh, use alongside the spelling program so again it doesn't make spelling plus bad this just has a little bit more fun and creativity when it comes to learning spelling words so that is why i went with that now when it comes to writing again like i said jump in it still seems like a really good program but it seemed a little um i don't want to say not fun but it just it seemed a little bit more on the boring side and that is something that lydia had a problem with she also said she, again she doesn't like to be told what to write she likes to have options so that is why i went with layers of learnings writing workshop a family style writing program again i got the pdf version and i ended up getting the bundle so in this bundle there are nine different units that your student will be completing and each unit is supposed to take about a month and so the different units are writers workshop jumpstart sentences paragraphs descriptions and instructions fanciful stories poetry true stories reports and essays letters persuasive writing so i think that the way that this is set up is going to work out so much better for lydia because it just seems like a lot more fun and there's a lot more options when it comes to writing it even said that this is considered a pick and choose curriculum so you actually don't have to do everything you know throughout these units but your student and yourself can pick and choose what mini lesson you do and what exercises that you do when it comes to writing now that is going to be like a home run for Lydia she's gonna love the idea of picking the exercise or activity that she's doing when it comes to writing because that is one of the things that bothered her her the most so that is what I'm going to be doing for this upcoming year that is the main changes that I've made and honestly I do believe that this is going to be the only two changes that I make when it comes to curriculum I can't say you know for sure because you know I'm a homeschooling mom I change my mind all the time um, but changing on over to layers of learning for spelling and writing I think is going to be a much better fit for Lydia so I am so excited about that now I will link layers of layers of learning down below in case you are interested because they do offer more than just writing and spelling I mean they have like full-on like science history all of that um, on their website there's even I think like some kind of guide that I purchased that goes along with the writer's workshop I just forgot to grab it but again I will link their website down below and again thank you so much learning planting growing for recommending layers of learning because now I am super excited to get started with writing and spelling with my reluctant writer and speller but that is it for today if you have any questions please leave them down below and as always thank you so much for stopping by you have a great day. Bye.